what's going on ladies and gentlemen we have a lot of very very interesting stuff to talk about today in this news video color custom void monks new dragon events and a gifting system that could be implemented into the future of adventure quest worlds let's get in to the video here we go Okay, okay, you've probably already seen this. This is what will be in the shop tomorrow. The Quibble, that's what Quibble will look like. He'll be a bank pet. We got a little pet, some sets, you know. You've seen this stuff. I've had this in the previous news videos that I do every Thursday. So, yeah, you've probably already seen this. But this was just tweeted out earlier today. All the green on this armor is color custom. Now, I don't know if it's to a single color. If it was two colors and you could, like, kind of... Uh, what do they call that? Like, a, a color shift, sort of? Like, a... A pearlescent paint like that would be sick if you could like ooh like kind of blend two colors together that would be nasty if you could do that but it's probably not it's probably just a single color for the whole set but still very cool that will be for ACs and there will also be a farmable version now there's a monster and you can get kind of a preview of the quibble hunt through time event that's coming out that was emailed uh, someone tweet that out um, okay so skew has some valuable vouchers that you can exchange for an Olgath Void Monk. Uh, so the red version of Void Monk is the non-CC permanent version of the armor available for farming. So it's non, so it's permanent. So you don't have to get it this weekend or anything like that. It'll be in the game for a while. So, but the CC version will not. The color custom version will not. But the red, just a plain red one, that will be available for a long time. Also, uh, someone asked if the skew pet would give quests. So... Not that pet, not that one. That one right there. If that will give quests, it says I've considered adding uh, quests to the pet in the future. Since the pet is a perma drop, uh, that's an option. So it's an option for the future for this pet to have quests. So that's all the stuff we know about Void Monk so far. Uh, it'll be out tomorrow, of course, both a, a CC and a non CC farmable version. Now that's all we have for Void Monk today. Let's get into the next thing. So Z replied to someone who uh, I guess in just in a thread said, I sort of quit making flash art for now. Now I don't know if this is official or whatever. I don't think even a lot of people have seen this. So yeah, if you're wondering why I see, uh, why you're not seeing any new items from Z, uh, he's probably taking a break or he just, he says he doesn't love it anymore. So yeah, that's, Hopefully he does something new uh, that makes him happy. I really like Z's art. It's very good and hopefully he continues to make stuff in the future just in his free time if he has the itch to. But uh, I, yeah, he shouldn't feel forced to like be making items if he doesn't want to. All right, moving on. Uh, would gifting be a good idea in Visual Quest Worlds? Uh, Elena replied to this guy, which is crazy. Uh, it's great that we're getting a reply and stuff like this. And apparently it's something they've been thinking of. So I... Um, People ask for trading in games. I love MMOs that have trading. It's a, a system I love because it adds player interaction, player economies, adds a whole like meta game to the game itself, which is very cool. And I love like I love playing that sort of meta game. But wouldn't work in Adventure Quest Worlds. It's already nine year old. It's a nine year old game already. We have a lot of systems implemented that it that would break and there'd be exploits and it would just it would be a, a really big nasty experience for a, a, a whole lot of people so it wouldn't work trading but gifting so let's say there's a void monk a color custom void monk hypothetically in the quibble shop and it was only available for that weekend uh your friend doesn't have money for it right now but you do you have enough money for two void monk armors so you buy it for yourself and you buy it for your friend and you send it to your friend it's not trading you're buying the item it's like a steam gift if you ever gifted a game on steam you buy the item and you send it right to him. You don't keep it in your inventory. You don't have two void monks in your inventory. It goes right to him, and uh, then he can do what what he wants with that item. So that would be really cool. That <laughs> that system would work. Uh, there'd be ways to exploit it that they would have to patch up. So like, let's say someone buys an item, gives it to a friend, charge back, uh, then charges back. That would really be awful. So you'd have to ban the account that gave the item to the person because it's the person that charged back and then take away the item for the person it was given to. So that's probably the easiest way to do that. Uh, but I don't know if they, 
they do have the capability to take away items from players. But yeah, there's a lot of little mini things that could go wrong with this system, but something to look forward to, a gifting system, could be in the future for Adventure Quest Worlds. Alright, uh, Artix uploaded this short little video. Hopefully he doesn't mind me showing it on my channel. If he does that, you can tell me I'll remove it. But, uh, of him going around the Artix Entertainment Studio. I thought this would be cool to throw in here, just in case you're not on the Artix Entertainment Facebook where this video was posted. The quality is pretty low. I can't do anything about that. It's max. So, here we go. So, there's Dage. So, like, this tablet, or this, like, this computer he's working on... Is insanely expensive. These are like very high grade professional tablets. Like that's really cool. So that's how he like makes the art and shit. Yeah. Like three modeling. They're building right there. They are building a map that's gonna be a map for AQ3D for the next release. That's how they build it. Ooh. Doing 3D, doing face models. That's always fun. Morning. Morning. Look how big the office is. We got skeletons. <laughs> Just computers everywhere. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that eight, nine, ten? <laughs> I don't know, like one big desk. Such a cool office there at the end i don't know just some stuff on their facebook page so that is all the news we have for this week uh crazy stuff color custom void monk a trading system like or not trading system a gifting system that could happen in the future uh really really awesome i can't wait for the dragon event next week just a bunch of cool stuff what's what are you most excited for leave that down in the comment section we like if you enjoyed this video tell me what you're most excited for of course I, for me it's probably the color custom void monk armor and I'm also curious uh, what the quibble event's going to be like. Apparently there's like a bunch of different areas you're going to and stuff like that in the event. So yeah. And if I missed anything, also leave that in the comment section down below too. If I missed any news that you're looking forward to. And I'll stop touching my mic there. Thanks for watching again. Uh, there'll be a live stream tomorrow. And uh, that is about it. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.